Well, this afternoon only on 7, now more than ever, it seems we all need someone to rely on for a sense of kindness, compassion, and of course, support. And there's one team in Ann Arbor that vowed to help years ago, and they still are today. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom shows us how their business is about healing the body and soothing the soul. Our Christina and Tisha Montague, mother and daughter, two very strong women with an even stronger commitment to always embrace their community. 100% black owned. Which gives them a tremendous sense of pride. They are the owners and operators of the Huron View Dispensary Clinic in Ann Arbor. A safe avenue where people can obtain cannabis. Yes, that is how and where their relationships with their clients begin. But those relationships never end. Um, we call them sports of joy. The veterans of war and the senior citizens from all walks of life, people, human beings, they respect and serve. They came back from Vietnam, um, the Middle East, they take a little longer explaining it to what they need and how they're feeling because they, they come in here with a multitude of uh, issues. And they, they keep coming back because we're meeting their needs. From meds to meals. And that is the name of the program they created that is so necessary. We work with local businesses to create a free meal. They're donated. So generously from eateries in Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti. Um, this has been a beautiful thing, but we're looking for more people to join. Because no one should have to choose between feeding their bellies and treating the ailments that plague their bodies. They just become family members. From helping them find housing, assisting them when they run low on money, and showing up to visit them in the hospital when no one else will. And it's just beautiful. We may be the only people they see for that week. I think we can add so much to this industry. Any time that I need some help there, or they're willing to help. In relaxation and for pain control. 73-year-old Peter Hartiganen is legally blind, hearing impaired. But first and foremost, he served this country in Vietnam. It's good to have people that care in the world. It's an example of what people should do, helping each other. It would be nice if some other places would carry on in the same way. And once you realize that what you're doing is truly helping people, it does the heart good. To learn more about the program, go to our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. So glad to see them helping so many people.